Here we are, Battlefield. Nice position, and here we go. And already Fire having a spawn on the top platform in a bad situation. Uh, interesting tidbit, which I should have mentioned earlier, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Fire is uh, like 10th in the French PR, okay, but he's also first in his region. He's uh, widely considered a dark horse, uh, especially since he plays a low witching character. Uh, people used to not take, do not take him seriously, but now they definitely do. And as it happens, uh, the second best character in his region plays ZSS, and the third one plays Sonic. And he plays all the tanks, and, and he knows the matchup in and out. So, I, I'm not sure what the matchup is supposed to be, in terms of uh, match pressure or anything, but in terms of characters, I'm pretty sure Exist will know the matchup from Silent Doom, and I'm pretty sure Fire will know the matchup from Idiom, which we saw earlier uh, when he was team with Zod. Anyway, uh, already a stock from Red Team. And Neef playing his uh, support role to the perfection with only 72%. Dodge, Dodge does read the dodge, but he space the finish. You can see Neef trying to help uh, Fire at the edge. Nice one. He's going go for the backstroke, but for the upstroke instead, for Zilikon, when he's getting pressured by Ketchu, because he has so little end lag that it's probably the safest bet to just jump away after the stroke. Fire is stuck at the edge. And although he cannot help his teammate, it also uh, makes uh, Pika for Life spend a lot of time uh, close to the edge, not helping in this uh, edge guard underneath or anything. So, not such a bad trade off. And speaking of trade offs, finally, the first talk on uh, both members of the red team is gone. But it might be a little too late. For life is already on his last talk. Oh, the nice conversion to Chipper back here! Oh, nearly killing, but decent DI from Exist allowed him to survive this. So close, though, so close. Get for life. Get in position, is the edge, jab, 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 smash. Technology, alright. Tries to read the dodge, doesn't happen though. Exist, very stoic. Just pushing the red team away. He knows he needs stage control to make things happen. And the nice pair from Charizard will take the stock again. Huge lead for the red team. And this is what's so scary about you know. I'm sorry, but I feel like sometimes I'm alone when I say that Zard is actually one of the characters that benefits the most from the transition from singles to, uh, to doubles. I wouldn't say he's one of the best characters, but definitely not the same anymore. Stock. And it is, but not the one I was expecting. Be careful, life other committed with his back here and gets hit by DD's own back here. Loses his stock and leaves Ease alone in a rather precarious situation. To stuck a B. Nope, doesn't go for it. Back throw, too forward there, too bad. Poor spacing on a fire spot. Exist in a lot of trouble, staying super sneaky though, doesn't get grabbed easily. Still got his jump, might be able to make it back. Auto cancel uppers. Just gets thrown back on stage. You can see fire fully aware of where the Sonic will probably end up. One of two situa one of two places after he's used his MB and he's always covering one of them with a daily kill move. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Something is happening! But still three stocks to go. Well, if he doesn't get hit ever, he, he will probably win the match, but it's still looking a bit hard. Gets hit by a sour spot of down air, the sour of sour. Yeah, that's probably it now. Oh, this is a grab. Goes for the immediate aggressive option, much reminiscent of, uh, really reminiscent, sorry, of uh, fatalities earlier. Jab, jab, side B, loving it. But yeah, in the end, Zard's jab is a pretty good move. So, ends up covering a, ro a roll, if you remember correctly, very nice from the fighter and the team working out close to perfection.
Let's go, Exis. We've got Exis and we've got Fire Chance in the chat. Sorry, we stretch out. And we're back in. Well, how's it going? Final destination. Okay, trying probably to make use of um, the mobility that uh, Pikachu and Sonic have over the red teams. Okay, Fire uh, committing to a down throw, which is usually not used all that much in double with Zod, because it's so slow. Like, you have your guaranteed follow-ups, but you're usually better off using back throw or forward throw, so that your mate can help you out, because down throw just lasts forever. Even each game, Exist has not been hit, basically. So much frame traps. I'm a new I forgot. I forgot that Sonic actually has a wall jump and that he is good enough to actually get the wall jump on the final destination. Ooh, Capricious Edge is too bad. Got the spike to start the smash, but didn't get the, the stuck in the end, but still manages to find it. Interesting. I'm not sure uh, if they are aware of the fact that. Uh, Fire is uh, much more comfortable against uh, Sonic than Pikachu, but uh, it's definitely looking like that because uh, Careful Life is just moving around the fire, is uh, targeting him. What exists has a lot of trouble. And get clipped by the up smash from his mates, that's not what you need. Especially when you, your opponent is still on his first talk. Red Team trying to end things, like, since they want some big hits to just uh, gain backstage control or stuff like that, but it's just not working out for them. Slopey, slopey on the follow-ups. Even when they do get stage control, they don't make anything out of it. Very nice! Oh, tried to go for something super nice there at the back through to, to Sandra, but it didn't happen, so instead it was Ixis who lost his stock. Wonder. It go for like up throw to center and uh, exist with covers the other GI. Anyway. They both hold and don't hold stage control because they, they just leave uh, half a life and exist runs through them, literally. So even though, they, even though they can get some pressure at the edge, sometimes they just drop it because they get Pikachu's a B going through them. One of them, uh, one of a second. In an instance, there's the one getting cornered. Nice jab out of shield. Still very doable if Fire doesn't use his stock. Definitely one of the scariest things about facing uh, Zod, and especially Zod in doubles, is his rage factor. It turns uh, already strong moves into deadly moves such as a uh, forward air and tilts, and obviously makes uh, strong moves absolutely ridiculous, like a B. Obviously playing frontline while Fire is. Oh no, what's going on? That's too bad. Fire kind of messed up at the backstroke from Neve. And uh, he, he missed the follow up and even hit Neve for a good measure. Situation getting rather tense. Fire is trying to corner uh, Kefal Life and he's not helping Neve out. And this could be it. Nope. Good match from Fire. Risky business. Yep, goes for the side game stage. I don't see I, I, I don't see this happening anymore. Am I a believer? No, why did he win? Did he go for the dodge? 
was scary. <laughs> At this point, Fire cannot really drop his shield anymore. And that's it, yep. Both in a row. Get hit by back air off stage. It was a big uh, commitment on Nif's spot. Win from the spike. He did manage to land it on a Pikachu, which is uh, commendable, but he got uh, killed right after, so yeah. And after that, Fire, who was at already extremely high percent, just got sniped with an neutral air close to the ground. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. I do think the stage played a huge part in this, so hope the French team uh, doesn't uh, mess things up and uh, picks a terrible stage, which they very well might be able to, because, well, they're French. Um, but on the other side, uh, apart from that, the neutral was kind of... It kind of looked like the neutral in the game before, except that uh, the, the blue team just had more room to run around, and it made, it made things... things much more difficult for uh, Zard to catch up, and uh, the lack of platforms too made it super hard to land. One, Here we go, Dreamland. So yeah, the best battlefield too. Not too surprised by this pick. And the combo is extremely hard to execute. You need to press A and up in a row, like four or five times. So again, that's what you get when you decide to play uh, Zard. Fully deserved. Yeah, Fire was getting a bit pissed off, pressured for like 89% without touching the ground. He was like, okay, you know what, Fire Blitz, I'm out of here. I'm a bit surprised by uh, Nif's side beast, but they're all working so far. Or at least very well get punished, so that's all we want. Fire saw that backs were coming from the other side of the stage and tried to get them. Very impressive, but didn't connect in the end. Uh, you see Zod jumping all the way uh, up above the platforms. It's basically a Morse, Morse signal to say, I, I can't land, please finish me off. Okay. Yeah, Nif himself going for a panic side B. Probably it on the platform. Nope, that's a, that's not a kill throw, people. Any any Zon main will be more than happy to tell you how this throw is absolutely terrible and an insult to the very oh my god terrible DI on the exit spot, losing his stock on a forward air at the edge. Even though this, uh, this move, as I said earlier, is rather strong, this good DI he definitely would have lived it, and it makes things uh, makes things much more doable for Red. Team. Even though Zod is a uh, just sending so much and getting him by everything. Nif is still on his first stock. Ooh, nice call out. Be careful life. Reading the roll to side B, or I don't know which aggressive options exactly he read, but technically something of the, along those lines, and the dash smash is exactly what he needed to cover that. Fire. Seeing as how Nif is not able to provide fire with any real follow-ups, he isn't able to make any use of his rage, and in the meantime, while he's staying away and trying not to die, Nif is getting destroyed between the two uh, fasties. Whoa! And the deeper back air from Zard, the destroyer of worlds, the Inferno, burns the poor hedgehog to a crisp and gives a small but existing lead to red team, at least in terms of stocks. Okay, Nif just side bees right into a Pick for Life's loving arms. Again, you can see Pick for Life definitely has some DD matchup experience. He tries to punish, oh, nice one. Tries to punish um, DD's short of aerials and side bees with dash up smashes, knowing that he will go uh, under uh, DD's uh, stature. Nif, even though he got a banana straw, wasn't able to give anything to like to eat. He's like feeding his uh, his uh, pet dragon, you know, showing him stuff. Like yeah, burn him. But uh, yeah, not conversion this time. Okay. 
No, says Gio. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Yep, it's time they do get it. Forward throw to upper, and obviously Ixis will take Pika for life stock. And Pika for life will have to play extremely careful. I believe at this point, uh, any normal uh, that isn't jab will lead to a kill from any character uh, in direction. Up tilt, down tilt. All of them will end poor Pikachu's life. And obviously, a dash up smash read will do the job. And so Ixis is left in a one versus two situation, kind of reminiscent of the first game. And as we remember, it wasn't too bad for him actually. But will it be enough? Red team committing super hard to something. And you can see, yeah, obviously, Fire more than happy to try and uh, condition Ixis to some uh, nasty stuff. If you refuse to dodge because you obviously don't want to lose your stock, I'll just take the easy percent out. Exist is fighting the life, uh, the fight of his life, but he, he isn't as good in the neutral one versus two that he was in the first game. Which is only fair because he was playing out of the nine. <laughs> Still the banana, not make anything out of it. Still a, a really scary situation, to be honest, because uh, it, at this point, Ixis can definitely end with his stock with a follow-up. Uh, like, oh, nice one back here, back throw to up air. Obviously, that's all you need with Diddy Kong. You need to create these opportunities and just rely on your teammate's ability to convert it into stocks. And that's exactly what happened. Very nice altogether from the red team. <laughs> Smash and frag goes on.